we have uh, so many uh, capacity issues going into this respiratory virus season so that the, the, the strain is uh, um, has been significant. Last Saturday, Manitoba's Chief Public Health Officer, Dr. Brent Rusin, raised the alarm regarding capacity issues in emergency rooms as the province's health care system grapples with this latest wave of respiratory viruses. But the impact of this rise in cases, well, it's already being felt on the front lines. The latest data from the province shows that between December 10th and the 16th, there were 2,200 respiratory visits to emergency departments, which is forcing hospitals to stretch already limited resources even further. All areas actually are feeling the pressure as well. So looking at where do we prioritize our work so that we can take care of our sickest and most complex patients. Shared Health CEO Lynette Saragusa says there are approximately 100 people in intensive care units units, with 30% of patients suffering from respiratory viruses. She warns if the situation continues to worsen, they may need to cancel some services. Potentially, it's not ideal, but it would be where we have to go next. We'll be looking at uh, surgery, uh, elective surgery, and potentially ambulatory clinics if we need to expand more. So we're watching very closely. Siragusa says last week they put out a call for staff to volunteer and pick up shifts in the ICU to try to address the uptick in cases. A step that Darlene Jackson, president of the Manitoba Nurses Union, fully understands, but also questions the sustainability of asking more from an already taxed health care workforce. We all understand that you, you have to go and help where, where help is needed, but unfortunately with this critical nursing shortage, help is needed everywhere. Jackson adds she has already heard from numerous nurses who feel uncomfortable with the workload they are currently facing, which she says has only gotten worse with the pandemic. Nurses, you know, came out of COVID burnt out and continue to be burnt out, continue to be mandated, continue to be working overtime and picking up extra shifts to sort of hold this system together. So it feels like nurses have had no respite for the past, you know, three to four years. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.